So in this product demonstration, we will go through the key components of Ansible Tower and its use case of job templates. We will look at the different job template parameters that you can use to form an automation job that you can deploy against your managed assets. So let me click on my public address of my instance so we can open up the Ansible Tower dashboard. Ansible Tower can be assessed via the UI, which is a dashboard I'm logging into, and also the API for more custom use cases. So as you can see, we have more of a less of fresh install. The dashboard displays the main tower components. We have, for example, the hosts, the inventories and the projects. So as a quick reminder, before we actually get into the demo, we have a basic four stage process that's involved in getting a playbook to run from Ansible Tower. The four stages can be found in the resources section. Here we have a project, inventory, credentials, and a job template. So we know that a project is a collection of playbooks. Your inventory is your managed assets. The credentials are used to connect to the managed assets, and we have different types of credentials. Then we have the template, which is the focus of this product demonstration. A job template is how we tie everything together and consider the job template and the components are the glue that form the Ansible automation job that enable you to run playbooks on your managed assets. So we have two options here. We can add a normal job template or a workflow template. A normal job template is used to run a single playbook with one set of settings. On the other hand, we have a workflow template that says that I want to run this job with this playbook and then if, if passes or fails, we can, for example, perform a continuous workflow of multiple templates. In this product demonstration, I'm going to use a normal job template that comes with a fresh install of Ansible Tower. So by now we know that a template is a job definition of all of its parameters. The job template can be launched or scheduled. I find scheduling useful to perform nightly backups of configuration files that don't need human interaction. However, as there is no human interaction involved, I would recommend combining scheduling with notifications. Then we can select the job types. So under the job types, we have the option to set run or check. So in Ansible Tower, we have the check feature that is similar to a dry run that you may have used with Ansible CLI. So you can use a check feature with role-based access control that is recommended for team members that don't have or need the full requirement and they simply just want to run quick sanity checks such as checking to see if a security patch exists. I use a check feature for determining if my environment has deviated from its baselines. So you can check if a security patch exists, but you don't need the full requirements to install that package on your managed assets. So within the job template, my inventory is set to demo inventory. That just references local host. It references local host as I've not created any managed assets yet. To prove this, we will go to the inventory, select my demo inventory, and then we'll go into the host section and here you can see the reference to only the local host. Now let us go back to the templates and check out my project settings. We know that projects are just a collection of playbooks. My project is also set to the default demo project and this points to a GitHub repository that stores playbooks. I really like the way Ansible can use version control for playbooks. When your playbooks are stored in a repository such as GitHub, you can have better management and version control. So for production environments, I would recommend storing playbooks on a source control management system such as GitHub. So here you can see the source control management URL that is specified to a GitHub repository that is set to Ansible Tower samples. This is an open repository owned by Red Hat and has a number of test playbooks. Another important parameter under the SCM options is to have update revision on launch. This will make sure that you're working from the latest information. 
Next, let us have a look at credentials. And these are the credentials used to connect to the managed assets. We have different credential types for different managed assets. The default credential type is machine, but there are many different types of credentials such as AWS for dynamic inventory use cases. So you could say that all of the above mentioned components are mandatory components to form an automation job. Then we have additional components that we can configure to optimize how Ansible Tower works, such as setting the verbosity. Verbosity is used for testing and troubleshooting, and we can set verbosity level to control the level of output Ansible produces as the playbook executes. We can choose the verbosity level between zero and four. Then we have forks and limits that are used for task execution. Ansible uses batches controlled by parameter called forks. So the default is five, which means that Ansible execute a task on the first five hosts and waits for that task to complete and then takes on the next batch of five hosts. You could consider the default of five to be pretty conservative. So if your infrastructure and host supports additional capacity and performance, you could increase this. Then we have tags and I really like tags for playbook development. So we can set tags on different parts of the playbook and then we only need to run those sections of the playbook. I find this really useful when there are multiple teams working on large and complex playbooks. It also saves you a bunch of time when you know that certain parts of the playbooks are 100% working. So you may be asking, what are the benefits of job templates? Well, once everything is in a central place and we can have all of the parameters in one place set to run an automation job, we can now delegate where we want to run the job template. And more importantly, who can run the job template? Not only do job templates allow standardizing operation procedures, they allow playbooks to be controlled, delegated and scaled. The outcome of a job template is that they allow you to easily configure a job that glues and stores all the parameters together that you would normally pass in an Ansible playbook on the command line. So Ansible Tower is all about push button deployment and this can be done with job templates. This results in easier deployments that really will drive consistency in your environment by running your playbooks the same way each time. In addition to allowing you to delegate responsibilities, an Ansible Tower really does have good R back features. So in this product demonstration, we went through some key components of Ansible Tower and its use of job templates. We looked at the different job template parameters and how you can use them to form an automation job that you can deploy on your managed assets.